Okay, now that you've chosen not to take the drug, we can begin our session. Now fear is a constant force that prevents you from accomplishing your goals. Tell me, what do you fear? Mm hmm Okay. Well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Okay. Well, let me explain a little of what you're going through. Now, we might try to avoid things that make us uncomfortable, but most people generally manage to control their fears and carry out daily activities without incident. But with people with specific phobias, or strong irrational fear reactions, work hard to avoid common places, situations, or objects, even though they don't know there's no threat of danger. The fear may not make any sense, but they feel powerless to stop it. People who experience these seemingly excessive and unreasonable fears in the presence or in anticipation of a specific object, place, or situation have a specific phobia. Having phobias can disrupt daily routines, limit work, efficiency, reduce self-esteem, and place a strain on relationships because people will do whatever they can to avoid uncomfortable and often terrifying feelings of phobic anxiety. While some phobias develop in childhood, most seem to arise unexpectedly, usually during adolescence or adulthood. Their onset is usually sudden, and they may occur in situations that previously do not cause any discomfort or anxiety. Specific phobias commonly focus on animals, insects, heights, thunder, driving, public transportation, flying, dental or medical procedures, and elevators. Although people with phobias realize their fear is irrational, even thinking about it can often cause extreme anxiety. Now this is all not to say that you have these symptoms, but I want to grasp a clear understanding on what it is you are afraid of. Okay? Does any of what I just said make any connection to what it is you fear? Okay. Well, I'd like to move on to a psychological evaluation test just to help us through this process of what it is you fear. So, don't worry, I don't promise anything scary. Now. now just tell me the first thing that pops into your head when you see these, okay? What do you see? Hmm. Okay. And this? And this. Okay. Well, that is perfectly normal. <laughs> you are not insane. If you don't mind, I wanted to mention one or two other treatment options to face and overcome your phobias. The first, as you may know, is the technique known as exposure. 
is by gradually and repeatedly exposing yourself to what it is you fear in a safe and controlled way. During this exposure process, you will learn to write out your anxiety and fear until it inevitably passes. Through repeated experiences facing your fear, you will be able to realize that the worst isn't going to happen. You're not going to die, or you're not going to lose it. With each exposure, you'll feel more confident and in control. The phobia begins to lose its power. Don't worry. We're not going to do that right now. Successfully facing your fears takes planning, practice, and patience. Now I can teach you a relaxation technique that may help you calm down to face your fear. You see, when you're anxious, you tend to take quick, shallow breaths, also known as hyperventilating, which actually adds to the physical feelings of anxiety. By breathing deeply from the abdomen, you can reverse these physical sensations. You can't be upset when you're breathing slowly, deeply, and quietly. Within a few short minutes of deep breathing, you'll feel less tense, shorter breath, and anxious. Okay? Are you ready to begin? Good. Okay. First, what I want you to do is sit comfortable with your back straight, like I'm doing. Okay? Put one hand on your chest like this, it doesn't matter which one, and the other on your stomach like this. Now, just do as I do. Take a slow, deep breath through your nose. Count to four. Just do what I did there. The hand on your stomach should rise when this happens, like this. And the hand on your chest should move very little. Now inhale again. But this time, I want you to count to seven and hold it. So hold your breath on a count of seven. Ready? Now exhale. Through your mouth. Inhale again. Do you think you got it? Okay. Inhale again, repeating the cycle until you feel relaxed and centered. Want me to take it through you again? Okay. Well, let me just come a little closer. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Now take this hand. Can I help you? Put it on your chest. Good. Now put your other hand on your stomach. Okay? Take a slow, deep breath through your nose. Feel a hand on your stomach rising. Okay. Good. Inhale again. Now hold that breath on a count of seven.
Do you think you could practice that? Okay. That's good. Okay. Do you feel a little bit better now? That's good. Now try practicing this deep breathing technique for about five minutes twice a day. Yeah. You don't need to feel anxious to practice it. In fact, it's the best way to practice when you're feeling calm until you're familiar and comfortable with the exercise. Once you're comfortable with this deep breathing technique, you can start to use it when you're facing your phobias or in other stressful situations. Okay. Now it's only natural to want to avoid the thing or situation you fear. But when it comes to conquering phobias, Facing your fears is the key. While avoidance makes you feel better in short term, it prevents you from learning that your phobia may not be as frightening or overwhelming as you think. You never get the chance to cope with your fears and experience control over these situations. As a result, the phobia becomes increasingly scarier and more daunting in your mind. Well, I think we made some progress today. I'm going to change your prescription from Ritalin and Chlorpromazine because I know that's not doing anything for you. I'm going to write a prescription for the SNRI drug known as Venlafaxine. Okay? This should help you with your anxieties. Now this has to be taken carefully. Now, I am your psychopharmacologist, and I will personally be overseeing your treatment for this. So you have nothing to worry about, okay? All right. I'm just going to make this out. Dr. Jonathan Green. If for the slightest change this doesn't work, I will immediately stop this treatment. Okay? Yeah. Well, I hope you know you have nothing to fear under my care. Okay? Quarterly. We're finished. Alright. There's nothing to fear. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, few would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our low security wings offer normal but troubled individuals a safe haven for recovery. An extensive breakdown of our costs and healthcare packages can be found at the front desk or at www.arkhamcare.com slash prices. We accept most major HMOs. Our website contains everything you need to know about our facility and how we can help you. Did you know that the children's area on the site can provide you with a detailed but discreet psychiatric profile of your problem offspring? Times have changed at this establishment, and through our pioneering techniques, we believe that anyone can be cured. We represent all medical specialties and offer a wide range of medical, surgical, diagnostic, and wellness programs. High quality of care, coupled with Arkham Asylum's convenient location, have ensured we are voted the number one facility in the entire state. Arkham Asylum is a 500-bed psychiatric hospital serving the entire Gotham area. We offer internships and in the last two years have continuously hired from our city's finest universities. Our intern package ensures you get the best start in your new career. Pick up a leaflet today.